Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Bababa Gede, Imo TV. I am Moriri Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. Irresponsible leaders are Nigeria's problems. Bishop Kuka. Kidnappers of 32 Ondo burial guests demand 90 million naira. Bandits arrest thief in Buhari's own states and aim over to security agents. Again, EFCC arrest over Assembly Speaker, Clark Accountants. Finally, Nigeria Defender Akoje joins Czech Republic FG CLO. Now the news in detail. The Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Matthew Kuka, has declared that there is no problem between the two major religious groups in the country, Christians and Muslims. Kuka, who spoke on TVC News Breakfast Show on Monday, said the problem of the country is with irresponsible leaders who use religion as a tool of oppression rather than for liberation. There is no problem between Christians and Muslims. There is a problem with irresponsible leaders who can't want to govern properly. Irresponsible religious leaders who have now seen religion as a tool of oppression instead of a tool for liberation. This has been a trust of arguments because there are two areas of study. With all sense of modesty, I have spent a good part of my life studying theology and studying religion and society in Noted. The clergyman, while responding to questions on the roles of religion and ethnicity in the politics of Nigeria, explained that country had failed at building governance that put the welfare of citizens above anything else. He said, if you are watching a football match or any game at all, that is why there are referees. If the referees does not do what needs to be done and allow supporters to jump onto the field, you can see for yourself that referees are punishing coaches who overreach themselves by stepping even if it is just one inch into the field. They are punished sometimes, they are taken off the pitch. The cleric further asserted that citizens must carry a Nigerian land mentality which, they, which presupposes the knowledge of shared interests, adding that the Nigerian system is only about politics and not science. To own those states, a reliable family source told newsmen in Akure, the United State capital, that 18 victims were abducted. Abductors of the people returning to Ondo State after attending a burial ceremony in Edo State last weekend have reportedly demanded 90 million naira for their release. According to the source, the kidnappers have contacted families of the victims and are demanding between 3 million naira and 10 million naira to release the victims. Meanwhile, one of the burial guests who escaped on a Saturday told newsmen that the kidnappers were about 10 in number. They jumped into the highway and forcefully stopped our vehicle. They were holding AK-47 rifles and cutlasses. We thought they were armed robbers until they started marching some of the occupants into the bush. In our state of confusion, they were shouting, where is money? Where is money? They co collected all the money and those whose money were inside the bus were allowed to go back and bring it. I told one of them that I left my bag in the bus and he asked me to go and bring it. I went back and stayed lying face down on the bus until they all left the highway. That was my saving grace. Still on banditry. Bandit parading President Muhammad Buhari's home state, Kastina, have arrested a thief and ensured he was handed over to security agencies. According to PR Nigeria, the group and terror group was going about their operation when they sighted this just stealing in an unnamed community in the state. The suspect name was also not mentioned, but report said the middle aged man is specialized in uprooting metal rods and removing iron bars from buildings in the deserted village in the state. A photo taken from the event showed the moment the gun wielding terrorists were parading the scavenger and stone metal rods inside a cart before a community leader. The other part of the photo also showed when the suspect was handed over to the community leader. Niger News confirmed not confirmed the exact day of the event, but PR News mentioned that the bandit warned the thief Stalin about the danger of stealing. From that story to Ogun State, 
For the second time in four days, operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, have arrested the Speaker of the Ogo State House of Assembly, Ola Kunle Oluomo, for alleged fraudulent activities. Premium Times report that the operative at last Thursday arrested Mr. Oluomo around 9 a.m. at the Multilite International Airport in Lagos. The, spoke, the Speaker was, however, released late Friday night but asked to return on Monday. When the Speaker returned to the EFCC office on Monday, he was detained. A source said Mr. Oluomo and two other suspects were in the EFCC custody at 9.43 p.m. The Speaker and his media aide, Abdul Ghaffar Adele, did not respond to phone calls seeking comments. Wilson Uwajura, the EFCC spokesperson, did not also respond to phone calls put across to his line. On Monday, the anti graft agency filed an 11-count charge against Mr. Oluomo and the clerk of the house, Adeleji Adeyemo, and the accountant, Oludayo Samuel, a fourth suspect, Adeoju Nimota Amoke, who is suspected to be the former accountant of the house, is still at large. The EFCC Lagos Head of Legal Monitoring Unit, Rotimi Oyedepo, filed the charges against the Speaker and the three other defendants before the Federal High Court, Abekuta Ogu State. From that story, we go to the sports story which concluded national news this hour. Nigeria defender Joshua Akoje has joined Czech Republic First League Club FK Jablonek report completesport.nigeria.com. Akoje linked up with Gavolink with Latvia outfit BFC Dogovalips. Unfortunately, we wear number 44 jersey for his new club this season. Akoje told M.FKG Jabolink that he was prepared to fight for his place and future in the club. That concludes the national news from BGI TV this hour. Before we go, let's quickly have some major headlines. Irresponsible leaders are Nigeria's problem, says Kuka. Kidnappers of 32 Ondo burial guests demand 90 million naira before they release their victims. Finally, on sports, Nigeria defender Akoje joins Czech Republic FK Javlon for his own career to move forward. For more updates on YouTube, the handle of our channel is Bababa Gede Imo TV. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell, select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawi Adibayo. Please like and follow the page for you to enjoy our broadcast as well. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, both outdoors. The phone number streaming on your screen is the best line to call for other placement. Thank you for watching. I am Maurire Rebila Lawal. Good afternoon.